they're playing round four this, of the Pog tournament going up against ADP Zacian here. If we can go second, that could be a really big advantage. Looks like how the toss goes. Okay, look like he's thinking. We did win the coin flip, that's really big. So we're gonna go second in this one. So then that can let us get our flare starter with Volcanian set up. And our hand looks very decent. Definitely has a lot of options in this hand. So let's see how many mulligans he had. He did have one mulligan, this is ADP, yup, okay. Looking really solid for us. Taking us a card. And that's a great card. We're looking so solid in this one. There's a Zacian for our opponent. That seems pretty good because we can go to get high heat blast off. Seems pretty solid for us. There's an order pad for my opponent. There's a Tails. This is the Dene coming down with that Dene change ability. I can discard his hand and draw a six. Look like he's doing it. Yep, but he did toss two energy switch. That could be really big because he does he doesn't four though, but still him being down two makes it a little bit harder. But still, I think we're in a pretty solid spot. Our hand's really good, so we're probably gonna. Hopefully, our top deck's not gonna be great, so we have a quick ball that to get us Volcanian. There's a quick ball discarding a Turbo Patch. Interesting, he discarded that. Maybe he should have used it on his Ashi and maybe get him extra energy. But in fairness, it is on a coin flip, so I kind of understand that. There's an ADP coming down. There's a metal to the ADP, and there's an Intrepid Sword. Okay, look like our opponent's in a decent spot for sure. There's a hard whiff off in Tribus Sword, so that's really good. So I think we're gonna have to end up here. Um Um Our hand seems really good, but I think we should definitely just not play um he already have any Marnie. He has a three Marnie, okay, so we need to be aware of that. I think you have a quick ball. Probably gonna Get rid of a quick ball here. Sounds good to me. And I can get us our Volcanian with that awesome flare starter. We go Volcanian. We attach to Volk. We switch to Volk. And I think we're in a pretty solid spot. So we're going to just go flare starter here. Let me get three energy because we did go second. And be able to attach. Huh. Yeah. We have no way to boost his HP, I don't think. So yeah, we'll just go we'll go three to cent um I, I kind of want to split it up, but I don't know if that's correct. I think we definitely should split it up though, so we are gonna do that. Yeah, why not? Let's just split it up. Okay, sounds pretty good to me. We're looking really solid. So we'll look see what our opponent's going for him. There's a turbo patch. There's a head flip, okay. That's okay. There's a quick ball for my opponent again. I'm gonna have a research. Probably gonna see if the Dene. Or maybe if he already has the Dene handle gets me the thin out. Probably one of those two. Maybe for the Rankaroo with the Primate with um, wisdom. Game and Rangaroo, yep. Not the surprise there. So he can put his Rangaroo down. There's an order path for my opponent. It is a Tails. That's really good. Okay. 
There's a professor's research. Let him discard his hand and drawing seven cards. Wouldn't be shocked if he got altered. If he didn't get altered, that could be a really big deal. But if he did, I wouldn't be shocked. No Mawai on this list, so that's really that's really good for me. There's a turbo patch. There's a tails. Unlucky for our opponent. Flips are not going his way at all. He is down all of his patches, so that's really good. And imagine if he does whiff the altar. There's a cherished bottle and go to the dinner. Okay, yep, there's the dinner. There's another Z there's a Zacian coming down. There's a metal saucer to a Zacian, okay. There's a Dedene, okay, there's a Dede change, letting him discard him his hand and drawing a six. Let's see if he got it. I wouldn't be shocked if he did. This looks really similar to the list that I got played at the tablet tournament. There's a switch to the a Rangaroo, interesting. There's an Intrepid Sword, that's really good for me. If we did hit, we're gonna boss that one up. Okay, there is a hit, so we're gonna boss that Zacian up. Number looking pretty solid. Turn up in the VMAX. Gonna boss his orders up the Zacian. Pokemon Communication, get rid of our blue cephalon. Then I can let us get to Dene, which is pretty good. Dene seems really good here. And then we're going to put it down and use it. And then he's going to be forced to knock out my Scorch. So that was the play I was trying to set up this whole time. So we're going to be able to go attached to our Scorch. And then we're going to be able to use High Heat Blast, knocking out his Zacian for two prizes. Really good for us. There's a boss that's really good. And there's an energy that's solid. Looking pretty good in this one. We don't have any energy in discards. That might be a little bit of a problem. There's a heads off order pad. Okay. Game okay, Koopa. Okay. There's an air balloon. There's a quick ball. Getting rid of a cherish. Get him Elder Goss. Okay. Look like Goss is coming down. Not for I get him research. Marnie. Okay. It's a little bit rough, possibly, but I think we're still in a fine spot. Marnie. Okay. We, this thing's not that great, but I think we're still in a fine spot, though. We could go Eldegosh or Boss. That seems pretty good. Even though he, then he could just kill his. Um, you know, then he can't just kill our uh, Dedene and Eldegosh to help him win. A little bit easier because okay, energy. Huh. So we're seeing we're we're looking pretty fun. He knocked down any of his boss, so we need to be aware of that. I kind of want to go all the boss, but at the same time, I feel like it might not be a good play because then he's going to just go double boss order. I think I'll put him in a pretty solid spot. A little bit of a tough one. I need to go to top deck, and I can decide. I don't want to go with Eldegoss boss, though. But there is definitely a chance you can have a double boss. Because there's an energy switch to the active. It might be an ultimate ray. There's an ultimate ray? Okay. So that's really good for me. This is telling me I should definitely go for the Goss. Then we can just boss a Pizashi, which seems really solid to me. Only getting two energy. That seems fine. There's a Crobat. That's okay. Now we're gonna go Goss for Boss. Boss, Zacian. Might as well put a skateboard on her. Do you have Grit Catcher? No Grit Catcher. Okay. It's pretty good. So I put a skateboard there, and then we're gonna be able to go G Max Senti Ferno, knocking out his Zacian for two prizes. And we can also get an energy on her Senti, which seems pretty solid to me. There's a Vulcan, there's an escape board. It seems pretty good. 
Hopefully we can try to dig for our um, last bo two bosses in our deck. That's what we're probably trying to do. We seem like in a really good spot, though. There's an energy spinner from our opponent. We're going to fail. Okay, fail. Not surprised. There's a primate wisdom from our opponent. Just not looking good for our opponent here. There's a Zacian coming down. There's an energy. There's a retreat into ADP. There's an ultimate ride. Okay, so we're going to try to dig for game here. All we need is a giant hearth. And then we do go to game probably. How many Sasser? Okay, he got one. Okay, there's an L energy. It's really good. Might as well put an escape boy on our, um, hmm. Kind of like the senti here in case we whiff. Seems pretty good to me. Volk. And we, um, can go attack. We could go welder one, but kind of like the attach here. And we could go crowbat for four, and if we get one energy, we win the game. There's the energy, so that'll be the game. We can just welder one. Short active, and then we could use G-Max Senti Ferno. Knocking out his ADP and get it, and, and there's a concession. Okay. Thank you guys all for watching. Hope you guys all enjoyed. See you guys back for round five shortly. Bye.